Now before we go into the actual landing procedures, the protocols, etc., let's go into a recap of the pre-landing scenarios and give you a general idea of the things that are going to happen before the actual landings occur. So if you look at the first slide, recap of pre-landing scenarios, you see number one is delivery of prosperity funds. Number two is to replace the present U.S. government. Number three is to abolish the IRS and the Federal Reserve. Now, what all that means, we'll describe after we finish this. So the next slide, please. So in the next slide, recap of pre-landing scenario. We have four, return to American Constitution and to common law. Five, transitional American government in power for about nine months then a transitional government to announce the existence of the Galactic Federation. So let's now look at all of this in a little more detail. So in the next slide, what the transitional government does, one, we can get an idea of what we're talking about. And I'm going to spend some time here to get you a better idea of what is going on. Now, first thing that a transitional government is going to do is to announce an end to the war in Iraq and in Afghanistan and set up a peace conference on the Middle East. Two, to replace the private Federal Reserve Bank with a Treasury Bank, which will be our new central bank, our true central bank. And finally, abolish the Eternal Revenue Service and end the income tax. So let's look at this in a little bit more depth, just a little bit more depth, because there are other things I have to talk about. But I want to get you an idea of Okay, people will say, what's happening before all this? I want you to give an idea. So, first of all, ending the war in Iraq and Afghanistan and setting up a peace conference in the Middle East. It is essential for the world that a, that a more peaceful, harmonious place be in effect. Therefore, the chaos created by the war in Iraq and Afghanistan needs to be ended. There has to be a period of peace. Secondly, we have to have a peace conference to settle the most difficult place on the planet, which is the Middle East. When all of that happens, then we'll have peace not only on this planet, but the Galactic Federation, which will be monitoring it, can then set up the aspects needed to allow all of us to know that a peaceful era on our planet is at, is at least at hand. Now there are some things domestically that have to happen as well. The transitional government needs to replace both the private Federal Reserve and the Internal Revenue Service with true aspects what the Constitution demands. The Constitution demands that we have a true central bank that is actually a bank allied with the U.S. Department of the Treasury, and that is indeed a public edifice. The present Federal Reserve is actually a private bank, as is the Internal Revenue, which is no more than the money collecting or revenue service for the Federal Reserve. Therefore, the income tax, which is actually illegal, needs to be ended because it's unconstitutional. So let's move on to number two. Slide number two simply says to replace the Federal Reserve fiat notes with new precious money currencies. Secondly, to return the cabinet system to constitutional requirements. That is, to end all these semi-public agencies. For instance, the United States Postal Service needs to be returned to being the American Post Service or the U.S. Post Office. Third, all of these changes and many more are to be announced during the first eight to ten days that this transitional government is actually in power. The purpose of this transitional government is just to act as the name implies. It is the transitional point between what is right now and I like to call it the post-landing reality which will cooperate closely with the Galactic Federation and other governments on this planet in creating our new reality. So. Now, if you want to go into greater details than I've just gone into very briefly, the thing to then do is to then have some of my DVDs with more information. 
And these three are DV711, Humanity's Future, First Contact, and Nasara, DV713, Living in a Galactic World, and DV709, Nasara, Creating a New Reality. And the SAR, of course, simply means the National Economic System and Reformation Act. It means Stabilization and Reformation Act. Excuse me. Now, all of these will give you a better idea of exactly what is happening and will allow you to have a fuller understanding of what's going on so that you can, when we begin these landings, know exactly why these landings are happening the way they are and have a better understanding of the whole reality shift that's occurring.